Yo, and welcome back to the iSpooge Daily channel. This is an experimental tech and media brand. This will be a vlog, probably 20 minutes, on the subject of homeless vegan eats a chicken sando. Why would a vegan eat a chicken sando? It's a good one. It's pesto. Look at how lush that is. Bro, it's not even just meat, it's meat and cheese. Oh. Yes, sir. I appreciate the free food included. Not quite a shift meal. We don't officially get that, but yeah. People hook me up sometimes. Wouldn't I rather have a moment of silence when I get off work? I just got off work. Kitchen. Along with the felons, the t face tats, you know? Can't be a software engineer because my lying managers screwed up the reference check process for me. So I work with felons and I'm homeless. six years. Thanks for your patience. If you're not new here, we get mostly new viewers. Like, you've got to reiterate stuff. So there's a certain group of people who think, if I would just check my email, there'd be the perfect job offer in there, and then my homelessness would be solved. Well, I got this job two or three months ago, and I'm still homeless. Huh? Well, it's just because it wasn't a good enough job. Oh, if you just check your email, there would be a better job in there. And then how long? The very first question. How long before the first payday? Well, I mean, like, the same day? No. Two or three weeks? Uh. So you're still going to be homeless for two or three weeks after you get a better job doesn't solve anything for me. That's a huge risk. I can barely afford to make it. I could probably make it a few weeks. But that's a huge risk with no safety net, right? So I'm saving the money from the job that I get now. Because you can't just move into an apartment once you can afford rent. I can afford rent. So I think it's a little less than 105 today. That's nice. Yesterday was crazy. So yeah, like we're not trying to do day-to-day -day stuff, but proud of myself. You can always notice a narcissist when they're in a dysregulated state. Like I just don't feel bad about everything that a narcissist does to me, like when they need to regulate. They're kind of like a chihuahua humping their legs so they feel better. They need to like ask overly personal questions, kind of humiliate you, do all kinds of little things to just steal your attention. That's how they survive is your attention. And so by like talking about them, what's that doing? Paying attention to them, right? So just don't do that. And then be the thing that makes you really want to talk about it, the fear, the fawn responses, stuff like that, is not knowing that God actually fights all your battles for you. Boom. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to try to get ahead of it.
Like, I didn't try to fight or get ahead of the false accusations that my managers at Open Table made. So I'm not sure why God let this happen to me. But, well, no. After I found out that it was communicated, I got mad and took it into my own hands. But before I knew that anyone had said anything, I didn't do anything to try to get ahead of it or anything, because I knew it was BS. Nonsense. So, I'm not sure why God let it propagate. I mean, it was definitely to a workplace I shouldn't have been in. Like, I definitely lowered myself a lot to go to the subsequent workspaces, just because I needed a job and to stay on unemployment, which... It was a valid firing. Why did I get unemployment granted even after an interview? Hmm. It was a totally botched assassination attempt at Open Table. Well, botched, it worked. But it seems like it worked. In due time, it will reverse onto the people unless they repent. That's not me saying I'm going to take it into my hands. I learned that lesson. not saying I made any threats or anything like that. Just like, well, no, it's still in my hands. Because I'm still saying, like, I trust this will be made right, which somehow karma was threatening, jail would be an upgrade was threatening, factually true jail would be an upgrade in this situation. I guess I have some errands to run. I don't think I'll be able to finish them by five. Got out an hour late today. Hmm. I might end this vlog early. Mostly, I just wanted to get the chicken sando eating. Yummy pesto. Mm. Still got to do the essay readings, I know for sure. Yesterday I mentioned, you know, the library closed. Oh, it's still open an hour and a half. People might have been slapping me like, yo, an hour and a half is enough time to do a 20-minute video. I just can't record in the library, period. Just because, you know, there's no space to actually record. There might be a non-quiet area where I could do the essay readings, but I don't want to do personal speaking. I mean, YouTube audience is somewhere between acquaintance and friend. Like, I'm not really making anybody my friends, but... That's sort of the level. They're not a friend, but they're not an acquaintance, you know? I'd say more than I might. I'd probably say any of this to an acquaintance. Yeah, there's so much I want to do that's just suspended because I don't have the workspace. And I'm sure people who are new are like, slapping me over stuff I've already explained. Like, it's weird to keep on explaining stuff for new people. I mentioned yesterday 2x salary because one x what I'm making isn't enough to get me by but then I, I'm just saying like oh this would get me into an apartment yes one salary would let me survive but still not do anything for the channel right so I'd need to get at least some kind of pay bump to additionally pay to live Pay to exist and pay to live, i.e. do more than exist. 
so yeah, I make enough to exist, i.e. get get by. But I don't make enough to live, i.e. do more than get by. So to say I need 2x the salary of what I'm making at my minimum wage job paying from this channel to become a creator full time just means I need to get paid more than I'm being paid now. If I quit, I drop everything that I'm being paid now, right? So I'm like half what I'm being paid now instead of like 1.5, right? So, you know, I need to be making about two times what I'm making now, maybe 1.5 to become a full-time creator, you know? Do things like manage the channel, open up comments, do live streams, have an environment, be able to edit videos. Which I do want to do, but you know. Then there's just straight up like fixing my life, like debt repayments, repay my old landlords, you know, got this and that that I need to figure out. Like, I'm gonna need some money to get into like a stable, legit situation that isn't gonna be able to be kicked out from under me easily again. You know, I get mad when these narcs mess with me at work. It is messing with my paper. It's messing with my ability to network with people by, like, literally, like, I think I watched rumors start in front of me, but I think they think less of me than I'm actually capable of. Like, they think I'm not as aware or something. Like, I'm a Mormon or something like that. Not Nothing against Mormons, just, you know, naive haven't seen the ways of the world yet. Oh no, I've seen the ways of the world. When you get super vi high vibe, you get to the point where you cannot sit on the fence between light and dark. That's not even saying good and evil, just light and dark polarity. The light exists to help the dark understand itself in a way. Like the dark came first, the light was created, right? So, almost done with the sando. Oh, it's Friday going on 5 o'clock, too. It's my Wednesday, so it's not a big deal to me. Uh, as much as I like, I don't like to drive when I do this, I might actually drive. Just uh, get to the 20-minute mark. In case you're new, I don't have the internet on this phone. Like, if I connect to Wi-Fi, I do, but... I don't have phone service, so I've got to record this and then go somewhere where I can upload it. And then it takes, like, a half an hour to upload. I said 10 minutes before, but that was with the laptop, and this file size is five times bigger. So it ends up taking a lot longer to upload. Fancy that. All right, there's that. A wet wipe is probably in order, but I don't wanna spend the extra 10 seconds. Yes, I'd rather relax and listen to music when I get off work. Go home, chill. Most of my life I've been a professional, not working in kitchens or anything with face-tatted felons. Not that, those are probably some of the most honest, real people, so no complaints. I actually much prefer, and I trust a face-tatted felon, not everyone, but a lot of them, more than I trust regular software engineers, little snake, lying, snaky, little weasel things. 
so many of them. Never been scared of being punched in the face or anything. Because they're hiding behind their computer screens doing their keyboard warrior stuff. Go on to become professionals like I used to be. And then when they see me in real life, they're like, oh, oh, I'm so scared. I have to change my routes at work. That's my impression of Cormac, my old boss's boss, my grand boss. Cormac to whatever from Open Table. This is my impression. Oh, oh, I had to change my route at work. I was so scared. Cor, uh, uh, Cor, he said all these things that were not. <laughs> yeah, that's my Open Table boss impression. My one boss, my direct boss, Rob McDonald Smith, who kicked off the process. I don't think he's a bad guy, but I also think that he doesn't have faith in God, and so he just did that evil that Cormac set out to do. Lie to the court! Mother... Yeah. See, I, that's not how I am, but there's something called reactive abuse, and when you get abused in a way as long-running and intense as me, they were smart by setting me up and saying that, oh, I'm violent. Because they know what's going to happen. You kick a dog into a corner for hours and hours, years and years, eventually that dog's gonna do what? And then they'll be like, look, he's got a history of violence already. He needs, this needs to be escalated to criminal now. There was never any violence or threats in the past and there never will be. Can we take that at face value? We have to read between the lines to get some kind of threat for everything else. Oh, karma, that's a threat. Oh, jail would be an upgrade. That's a threat. Oh, oh, he's talking about it two days in a row. Your honor, he's obsessed. Oh, we need another restraining order, your honor. <laughs> Look how psycho he's acting. I'm gonna play these videos in the courtroom. They're gonna chop them up for me. I'm insolvent. I can't defend myself. It doesn't matter what they say. It's all going to be counted as true because I can't say anything otherwise. So we can believe me when I'm acting threatening, but we can't believe me when I say there's never going to be anything. Oh, that's just him being, you know, he's, he's dotting his I's and crossing his T's. He's covering his bases so that he can just say, look, see, your honor, I said I don't have any threatening intent. But look how he's behaving, Your Honor. He's behaving in such a threatening... <laughs> Sorry, I was crying because I feel so bad for my... <laughs> Sorry, but Your Honor, I just can't stop crying. This is so traumatizing for my clients, see? Yo, what have I been doing? I've been building. I haven't even been, like, on social media except for in bursts because, like, I need to get eyeballs on whatever I'm building, right? Oh, so this is just... Your Honor, see, he's he's using the situation to create drama and get eyeballs on his product. So not only is he being threatening, but he's doing it for profit. Because he's, he's like thinking that he's going to be out there long term. So he's doing it for profit, but he's doing something that... Oh, see, he's self-sabotaging because he doesn't believe in himself. There's like all these layers to this onion, Your Honor. <laughs> So we got one minute left on this vlog. Am I still in my mind? Yes, I am. Am I making a show for the camera? No, I'm not. I literally have no family or friends to talk to. Well, maybe if you'd act sane, you'd have some family and friends. I don't act like this all the time. Well, they can obviously see that you got all these repressed feelings. See, there's always an answer for this because I'm in the underclass. So there's going to be the narcissistic case system behavior of the gentry who... Uh, the labor think are in alliance with the underclass because the elites play them that way through the Hegelian dialectic. So, like, there's all these contradictions here, but they can just, like, slice and dice and just make it look like I'm this super crazy, angry, whatever, like, like, double-minded even because I'm, like, <clears throat> using some long-term actions to set the pretext for some instant gratification stuff. Anyway, bye.